exercise five, attitude and power changes. The first thing we're going to have a look at is how to change the attitude to give us a different airspeed. Note at the moment we have an attitude where the compass actually cuts the horizon, looking inside, giving us 70 knots. I'm now going to come back on the cyclic to select, and here we go, selecting an attitude for a 40 knots. Note the position of the compass relative to the horizon. It's come way back above the horizon. I'm holding this position, so I've selected, holding. Quick look inside at my airspeed indicator. Shows I'm nearly at 40 knots, so I make a small adjustment. If we now look at the compass again, I think you'll note that there is just a very, very small amount, small distance between the bottom of the compass and the horizon. What I'm going to do now is to select an 80 knot attitude. So once again, with the cyclic, cyclic going forward, selecting the attitude. Note how the compass has dropped well below the horizon. I'm now holding this attitude, overcoming the flat back as the cyclic goes forward. Quick look inside at my airspeed indicator. I can see the speed building up nicely towards 80 knots. Once again, I'm now going to make a small adjustment for the 80 knot attitude. Note the position of the compass now. It's just a little bit further below the horizon than it was for the 40 knot attitude. So although we have a large pitch change initially, the end result of the position of the compass relative to the natural horizon is a very small difference indeed. Let's have a look at the effect of power changes on the instruments. First thing we want to have a look at is note the height. Height 1,000 feet, note the manifold pressure 21 inches. I'm now going to lower the lever, watch the manifold pressure. Decreasing, going down through 17 inches, going down further as I lower the lever through 15 inches, down to 14 inches. Quick look across at the engine rotor tacko shows that due to the throttle correlator, the RPM remains steady. Note the rate of descent on the rate of the climb and descent indicator. I'm now going to raise the lever to make an increase in power. Raising the lever smoothly, increasing the power through 17 inches, continuing to raise the lever through 19 inches, continuing to raise the lever through 20 inches, and there we are, stable again at 21 inches. RPM note, remain within the green band. And we now have a slight rate of climb. 